Okay, in this video, we're going to discuss the famous dish antenna, also known as a satellite dish antenna. Uh, it's commonly used uh, for satellite TV, as in the case of this direct TV dish, and in astronomy and remote sensing, as in uh, this dish antenna, the big dish of Stanford University. Um, so basically, the antenna consists of a very large reflector. Uh, there's a feed antenna, which is often a horn antenna, and it's held, the horn antenna is for, collects uh, the received energy or does the transmitting, which is reflected off, and then these masts, which hold the feed antenna in place. The masts degrade the performance of the antenna a little bit, but they need to be there. So, when we think about an antenna like a half-wavelength dipole or a microstrip patch antenna, those are small antennas in the sense that they're half a wavelength long. So dish antennas are very different. They are many wavelengths long, so at least 10 wavelengths, and typically the diameter of the reflector is much more than 50 wavelengths long. Um, so a dish antenna at 300 megahertz, where the wavelength is 1 meter, will be at least 10 meters in diameter. But in the case of a 20 gigahertz uh, reflector antenna, where the wavelength is 1.5 centimeters, the reflector antenna is might have a diameter of 15 centimeters and still be a very large antenna. So the, the reason to have such a large antenna, the whole goal is to have a very high gain. In fact, a high, as high of a gain as possible. Um, so the peak gain for an antenna, that for a dish antenna with a diameter of 60 wavelengths could be 40 to 70 dBi. So if a 40 dBi antenna gain means that the antenna is 10,000 times more sensitive in the direction of peak radiation, which would be out here, than a small antenna, which would be more isotropic. So the radiation patterns, uh, here's some examples. This is a dish antenna with a gain of about 30 dB, and in this case, the side lobes, which is the energy coming out here, is about 40 dB lower than the energy that comes out of the peak or main beam. So the good news about discussing very large antennas is it becomes okay to make mathematical approximations or simplifications that aren't going to alter the result. So in this case, we're able to discuss the antennas in terms of geometric optics, which means we can think about uh, rays, uh, the electromagnetics is simply just rays that travel in straight lines and are reflected and go off in straight lines. Uh, this is a high frequency approximation, uh, which is okay to do when you're dealing with you know, high frequencies or equivalently when everything is large relative to a wavelength. Uh, this is known as geometric optics. So in the low frequency case, when reflectors and apertures are the size of a wavelength or less, you have to worry about much more difficult concepts like diffraction, but in this case, using geometric optics, we can figure out what's going on and understand it without making the math too difficult. Okay, so why do we use a paraboloid for the shape of the dish reflector? So let's talk about that real quick. So here is an equation for a parabola, which is just a slice through a paraboloid. So we have a focal point here, which is a distance f above the apex of the parabola. Now, if you imagine a source right here emitting just rays in random directions uh, we got a couple nice things that happen so imagine here's a ray traveling in this direction and it's reflected up and then begins traveling up there and another ray comes out here starts traveling in that direction so there's two very nice properties of parabolas that make them very useful the first is that no matter which way the energy leaves the source antenna here, it gets reflected in the exact same direction. So now we have all the energy traveling in the same direction. The second is that the distance from the source to the reflector and to this focal plane here is always a constant. So that means the distance from here to here up to here is the same as the distance from here to here and up. And so this means that all of our energy is now adding in phase and going in the same direction, so we're not going to get a bunch of cancellation. And this uh, are two very desirable, desirable properties and the reason that we use paraboloid reflectors uh, for the dish antenna. Okay, so the dish antenna 
is an aperture antenna in that the fields that are reflected off of the reflector uh, create kind of an aperture, which is a distribution of E field which uh, produces the radiation. Now, aperture antennas, we can uh, write the gain of them as 4 pi a over lambda squared. But the area is actually not the area of the reflector, it's actually an effective area. So, and the effective area is related to the physical area, which is called A sub P, uh, by an efficiency term. So the physical area uh, is pi r squared, where r is the radius of the dish, or pi d squared over 4. So we can rewrite this. pi d squared over lambda times the efficiency. So if we ha know the size of our reflector uh, antenna for a given, and we know the frequency, then we can kind of estimate the gain uh, for a well-designed uh, reflector antenna. So epsilon here is the efficiency, uh, the aperture efficiency. So for a good design dish, it might be 40% up to 70% or so. And the things that affect it are uh, the first, we'll call it aperture taper efficiency. So this is a measure of how uniform the E field is across uh, the focal plane. So again, we want all the energy traveling up here. And so, for instance, if we use a very highly directive horn, then most of the energy is going to be reflected near the center. And there will be a small amount of energy that comes out here and it's reflected. But this energy will have a much smaller magnitude than the energy here, and as a result, we're not really using the whole uh, aperture. So in this case, our, we'll have a lower uh, aperture taper efficiency than we would like. So this can, the, that efficiency can be improved by increasing f, which is the distance between the horn, the feed antenna, and the apex of the reflector. So another uh, efficiency loss is spillover efficiency. So that's, for instance, energy that doesn't get reflected at all. Maybe it travels away and doesn't even get hit the reflector. Uh, we have aperture blockage. So, you know, some of the energy is reflected by the reflector and comes and hits the uh, feed antenna or the support mass for the feed, and this energy is lost. So that's another source of error. There's a few other eff efficiency losses uh, on the web page uh, you can take a look at and figure out how to calculate them. So a little bit about uh, design. So there's two real parameters. One is the diameter of your reflector and the second is the focal length which determines how rapidly the parabola uh, increases away from the center. So the first design parameter, D, uh, is pretty simple. You want it as large as possible. More area, more aperture, more gain. So you always make D as large as you can. Uh, for F, uh, empirically and through simulations, you can find that the F over D ratio that is best is often anywhere from 0.35 to 0.7. And typically, it's in there. You can optimize it or whatever. Okay, so finally, um, let's look at the direct TV dish antenna. So this is communicating with a satellite, and it operates at a few frequencies, but from what I found, I think uh, we can call it 18 gigahertz. We'll just look at one of the frequencies, uh, which is about 1.7 centimeters, or a little over half an inch. So let's just say the length is roughly, you know, 50 centimeters, half a meter, and so the dish itself is roughly 60 wavelengths, uh, sorry, uh, 30 wavelengths in diameter. So if we assume like a reasonable uh, aperture efficiency, let's call it 0.6, then we can calculate the gain from this equation, and we end up with a gain of 1630 or 32 dB. So that small... Uh, mm -hmm satellite dish antenna actually has a gain of 30 dB, and the reason is because the frequency is so high. So for more information, uh, check out the webpage, and there's more detail and some graphs to help you understand this better. Thank you.